My name is Ramsey, and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. It is time to go in as the robot. We shall roll our d20 to see if we are going max curse this time. No, instead we got a 9. That would have been the world's shortest episode. Ah, we're a robot, and yes, we're on Max Curse, and we are dead. Well, my name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Enter the Gungeon, and goodbye again. Whew! Gonna have to find some way to stretch that out to 10 minutes. <laughs> Get that ad rev. Give me a good reload here. I would very, very, very much like a gun nut. Such is always the case. Chain gunner, I would have settled for. Basically anything with some money. Because so far, ain't none of that appearing. Thank you, book. And goodbye forever. We can go back for that glass one stone at any point we decide. So easy to just mow down targets with this incredibly high accuracy, incredibly high capacity gun. I just... Oh. The robot's right hand is just such a great weapon. I love it so much. Well, I mean, it in particular is great because battery bullets is such a high accuracy up as well. Never seen any other character wielding the robot's right hand, so I can't see what it would be independent of that because as the character, you cannot drop your... <clears throat> you cannot drop your default item. That is to say, the battery bullets. So, these apparently can be rainbow chests in disguise, and the way you reveal them is to hit them with water, but apparently coolant leak doesn't necessarily work for doing that. You need to use the Mega Dowser, or like Bubble Blaster, or Siren, things like that. Um, but I did want to check there just in case it had been patched since I had last heard. Oh my gosh, this was actually a surprisingly difficult room. That is to say, entering and having targets to all corners immediately can be a little unmanageable. Okay. We got in here. Nothing. Well, I mean, two pieces of armor. First law, so probably 25 in cost a piece. Uh, it was very important there that I get a shot through to the gap before the gap went off, just so that I could try and get as much money as it could have possibly provided me. Just in case the extra money results in me being able to get an extra piece of armor. Well, dang. Alright. We might be able to pick up some junk before we even go into the first boss fight. So I don't have any keys here and I'm going to buy the chests, or rather I'm going to be buying the armor in the shop. So that means that I'll destroy these two. Next time use a key and this one as well. Please don't have been rainbow. It wasn't. Next time use a key. Both of these pieces of junk are going to give us a plus 5% additive damage bonus as this character. That's just how this character works. Gonna be extremely careful here. Because I very, very, very much want the master round, please. And thank you. If we could have that, that'd be cool. I'm not using the coolant leak in this fight because the enemy is technically flying and as a result is not affected by any of those ground based hazards. For that same reason you can't hit them with a the Molotov from the convict. There have been a lot of circle above the head attacks here that we've managed to dodge without even using a blank. The attack pattern RNG has been really, really, really good for us in this fight. 
I think even with the pilot on base pistol, I would have been able to deal with that. Hey, it's the bubble blaster. I was just talking about you. Not that I like you at all or would ever use you in any way, shape, and or form. Oh, no. Wait a second. It's just incredible with this, right? Oh, no. Is Bubble Blaster going to be my best weapon this entire run? Because it definitely has the potential to be with its synergy here. Um, yep, we'll open that. Hazmat suit. All right. We can no longer be burnt. We can no longer be poisoned. We can no longer be set on... Mm-hmm. What? No, you thought that being burnt and set on fire were different things and tried to state them in a list of separate items. I would have never done such a thing. And I definitely wouldn't interrupt myself in the middle of realizing I was about to do such a thing to claim very loudly that I'm not going to do such a thing so as to project. I would never. I don't even know if this is checking for secret rooms excellently. We'll see. Well. Here's one check for a secret room. I'll take the armor. I'll take the armor. You know what? I'll even take the key. Hell yeah. Let's get that. Guanstone. I'm probably actually going to blank this room. Yeah. And out we go. Back to the robot's right hand. Because I am terrified of the bubble blaster. Well, when am I going to get better at it and if I don't try and use it, right? But does it have to be on the robot that I have to get better at using this gun? Okay, it's actually really good. If anyone has advice on actually how to use these new weapons to their full potential, feel free to tell me. Because it feels like I have to use this like a like a two-click shotgun. Like I click and then I right, uh, click and then reload as soon as I get up near a target. Rolled just a second too late there, unfortunately. See, I don't know what to rely on hitting. That's why using this weapon's a little difficult to me. Like, I don't know what I can expect to kill. Hey, Shotka Cola. That has that has to have a synergy. That has to have a synergy with Bubble Blaster. Bubble Blaster literally is drinking Shotka Cola in it. Bubble Blaster ETG. If this doesn't have a synergy, I'm going to be really sad about it. Oh, I'm going to be the saddest man of all time. Uh, there is no synergy. Cool. I don't really get how to use this. Like, I can see very few bubbles are doing a very large amount of damage, but how do I use it? It seems so garbage. Do I have to be that close? Maybe that's a faulty initial assumption. Maybe I don't need to be that close at all. It's actually incredible. I'm just getting way too close. Okay, it looks like some of that's true. But it seems also the further you away, are away from your target, the more difficult it is to line up the shot well. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so for anticipation battles... <clears throat> excuse me while my throat decides not to work. Uh, so for anticipation battles, it seems like it's a really good thing. I'll keep it in mind. Thank you. Electricity for finishing that off. I could not have been bothered personally. So any target that wants to follow you is just going to have a huge deal of problems with this. It doesn't seem like it fires all of the bubbles. It only fires the bubbles that are near you at the time. It's firing them in the direction of the mouse. No, it's just firing them away from you. So it's just a belch. So you just like do this. And then if I stood in the middle and reloaded... No, they... Even the ones from behind me went forward. I don't... I mean, I could just use it as a super short range weapon. Like, it didn't, like, not all of the bubbles went there. What's happening? Weapon's too inconsistent. I'm not using it, sorry. It's gonna cause me to take more damage than it's gonna save me. That was lame. And finally, excellent. Flip those two tables for no reason. It's just all part of the late game RNG manipulation that I'm setting up. We'll see the fruits of that in 45 minutes. Yeah, it's definitely a secret room. Hmm, got two good chests this floor. Got a location for a secret room already. Got an extra. You know what? I think I'm actually just going to take these. Till I get the gun, and I did get the gun. We've got the Zilla shotgun. We'll use that for the boss. So you charge the gun, and then it does something like that. This should be uh, probably a lot more damage than it is. <clears throat> Just concerning the fact that it is a high tier weapon. Whoa! I was not prepared to make that roll. Thankfully, I blanked just in time. Can you please stop doing those attacks? Like, it's the only thing you're doing right now, and it's very frustrating. Okay, move those two quickly. Stop doing these attacks, please. Please stop doing these attacks. I only have one blank left and I want it for the secret room, damn it. Ha! Ah! What the hell was- There was no- No timing there! I swear she sped up her attacks! What the hell? That sucked. That was really bad. We were fine throughout the entire fight right up until the very end there. Heavy boots, lower center of mass. Right, what's it synergizing with? Iron starts on this gun, because it's a shotgun. All right, Zilla shotgun's now doing way more damage. I hope it's enough, because that that was really, really bad. Nanomachines might carry us for the rest of the run. Uh, apparently, once every four times you get hit, nanomachines... Uh, I still get the shotgun collar there as well. Uh, one every uh, one out of every four times you get hit, nanomachines will generate an extra piece of armor for you. It's possibly the best passive that you can get on the <coughs> robot. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to be using the Zilla shotgun, like, probably throughout the entire floor. The Iron Stance is giving it faster bullets. But actually, most importantly, giving it plus 20% damage, which is making it much more usable. Very close to perfection until the end there. Alright, that'll do. Got him there as well. Hell yeah. Bounced across the screen a hell of a lot of times. Is that a secret room? No. Okay. Looked like it had the potential. Really? The way that that hit me frustrates me. Oh, well. <clears throat> that one was definitely on me still. This might be the first time I've used Zilla shotgun for more than a straight minute. I usually hate this gun. See, that's the sling. It would mean I never used the Zilla shotgun again, though. Well, I guess I could use the Zilla shotgun as my room clear and then sling as my boss clear. But also, like, this seems like it would be a good boss clear now. My biggest problems with it seem to be fixed. Doesn't have a high enough shot speed. Doesn't do enough damage. Certainly fix those two. <clears throat> So I want more damage modifiers. I want more junk. I want uh, other things that also modify damage. All right. Give me the reload and show me enemies. <laughs> this is actually fun to use this gun. I know I'm as surprised as you are. Unless you're not surprised, in which case I am significantly more surprised than you are. Ah, uh, get him! <sighs> We're probably heavily wasting ammunition at the moment by not just using single shots for single targets, but also... Whee! That's my counter-argument. I stick by it. Mm -hmm. Alright, how much do you want? 35, okay. I don't have any aim modifiers. I don't apparently have an aim modifier that should affect that. Sad. Really would have preferred to get junk there. Don't know if I destroy this. In fact, I think I don't. Mm. Guess Jolt is okay. Not really what I was looking for, though. Zilla's shotgun seems like I probably need to pick up ammunition before the boss fight if I want to use it. You're 45, right? 35. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm not taking the sling. Sling's a crutch. I don't need it. I mean, not bad. Yeah. <laughs> ah, robot's left hand. All right, now let's just go eviscerate everything. Oh, 
<laughs> it's so good. Now, let me just kite you around the entire field. Half HP now. Also managed to take care of the chump there. That was an early reload, probably too early actually. No! Ooh, you saw those fast bullets coming for us. They really had. Oh, they were out for blood. Got him. Woo! Yeah! I'll be collecting that master round, thank you. Definitely not taking proximity mine. Um, I want the Zilla shotgun charged back up. I think I actually kind of may have fallen in love with that weapon. I know it's a tale as old as time. Do -de do 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 do. Woo! What do we want in here? It was nothing, right? Nothing doing? Yeah, let's leave. Whew. So Zilla shotgun, robot's left hand. Can I just win with... Well, robot's right hand. Robot's left hand. It is robot's left hand. Never mind. Uh, can I just win with those? Yeah. Almost certainly. Um, I'm going to need a little bit of curse and a little bit of coolness so that I can... Make sure that I keep the ammo up on them. Speaking of. But yeah, this could totally be a foundation for a successful run. Why not? If I could get more accuracy, whoo, we could go off. Give me muscle relaxing. Keep forgetting that there's a wall there. Well, I was trying to kill that enemy, but unfortunately it rolled a crit and killed its, uh, well, a critical fail, not a just crit. Unfortunately it rolled a crit and moited itself for me. Which means that it's not going to be dropping any of its duh, 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 casings. And that's why I usually race them to the kill. <laughs> Unfortunately, this room is too big for the penetrative shots to do too much. Whoop. This will be fine. This will be fine. That was a blank that I didn't need to use. Entirely my bad, sadly. It's not one of those situations where I have a handy person to blame. Wow! And that one needed a blank. Ugh. Just lame work on my behalf. Should have destroyed that. I was actually intending to destroy that. And then I moved closer to it and accidentally opened it. Like reflex kicked in and it got opened. Um, did you see that? The Zilla shotgun had a reflective shot, or rather a refracted shot. Uh, bounce back and force an enemy directly into me. Uh, it feels like these things happen abnormally commonly to me. Like, sure, you'd expect sometimes. But almost all the time? Right. 
Yikes. Two shot them, probably. Not bad. Zilla shotgun's still getting us through these floors. It's just I think maybe I have to use the charge shot a little less commonly. At the very least, until I get more damage up or more accuracy up. Hmm. We'll see. Any chest of a tier lower than that, I would be very happy to instantly destroy there, but... Green. Green starts to have some good stuff in them. I mean, my muscle relaxant that I'm asking for is in green. Turkey drum clip boxing. Uh, Alright, let's check what Zilla shotgun has synergies with, just in case. It has a synergy exclusively with Yari Launcher. And it summons an orbiting demon head. Oh, it's a Shadow Warrior reference, fair enough. It's the other wild gun that we have at the moment. Ah, Robot's Left Hand, of course. Robot's Left Hand. Let's see if there's any specific synergy with that. Uh... There's a uh, there's two unused synergies apparently. Look no hands if you have the robot's right hand, uh, and terminated if you also have Winchester. But apparently, they are not implemented. Great. Turkey is a great way to, uh, great way to get a little bit of our uh, ammo back. I could probably buy both of those. I can probably overall buy both of those. We'll come back for the drum clip later. I think the drum clip is actually going to increase the clip size of this by two. If it does, then it is extremely worth. Come on. It did. That makes this so much more usable as a shotgun. Right. I hate that one of them managed to hit me there. All right. We'll go open this green. K-47. I mean, it's a reasonable gun. There's no problem with the AK-47. It's totally usable. I would even argue it's very good. It's basically exactly the same as the robot's right hand for me right now. Okay, entry from the bottom of the map. So, this is anyone except for the Warmonger. I hate those uh, bullets coming from off screen. That's, in my opinion, the worst part of this fight. It's also been a very long time since I've actually fought the High Priest. Damn it. Already lost our... Uh, Perfect. All right. Stay all the way up here. For safety's sake. If I don't take another hit this combat, I'm going to be pretty annoyed about how I took my own... How I took my first, rather. Never mind. 
And took another hit, so I'm fine with it. Yay! Good lord, I hate this fight so much. Please stop. Please, please just stop. Please stop. No! There was a bullet that was just off screen that was just about to come. Don't you dare. I'm not dying to you today, High Priest. I may have no HP left. I may definitely be dead as a result of having taken that fight. Yes. Both of those are true. I feel like I've been a little bit... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A little bit handicapped in this run. Uh, because of the fact that I haven't recently fought the High Priest. Like, it's literally been, I want to say, at least 20 episodes since I fought the High Priest. Okay. Sure. I mean, if I take another hit, I'm dead anyway. Explosive rounds are really handy. Cool. Explosive round shotgun. I mean, it's a nice build. It's just I'm god awful at the video game, and as a result, lost way too much HP. Way too early. gonna finish all of these at range making life much safer for ourselves that do it not yet still not yet got him Whew. uh gun knight greaves yeah it's a piece of armor when i pick it up <clears throat> as well as an armor next floor. So it's two pieces of armor. Still pretty obviously the best thing on that field though, right? Was that one of the places that was summoning bullets and I just couldn't see it because I was standing on top of it? We had a ridiculous build. I just played really, really poorly. Uh, we needed more master rounds to win that. Every time you lose out on getting a master round, that's a two armor differential, right? Because you either lose an armor in that fight and you aren't getting the master round, uh, or you don't take damage and you do get the master round. So you go from six to seven or six to five or even less. So those are really, really, really important. The armor pickups super early on were really good. Basically, the only reason that we survived that long, despite how badly we were playing, was because Nato Machines is ridiculously powerful. For the moment, my name is Mr. Rhapsody. The name of the game has been... <laughs> the High Priest. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.